Welcome to Simply Apple. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to create a layer from a selection. For this video, I'm using Photoshop CS6. However, the technique I'm about to demonstrate will work for older versions of Photoshop as well. On the screen, I have a layer that has a variety of shapes. I'm going to go ahead and use a quick selection tool in order to select the triangle. Now that I have created my selection, I'm going to demonstrate two ways to create a layer from a selection. The first way is to select Layer. From within Layer, select New. And from within New, select Layer via Copy. And when you do this, you'll notice in the Layer panel that you have the background layer as well as a new layer right above it. If I turn off the visibility for the background layer, you'll notice that the triangle is now all by itself on its own layer. At this point, I'm going to go ahead and delete this layer to show you yet another way to go ahead and create a layer from a selection. Once again, I have my background layer selected, and once again, I'm going to use the Quick Selection tool to select that triangle. Now, this second way I'm about to demonstrate is the way that I commonly use, and that is a keyboard shortcut. On a Mac, it's Command-J. On a PC, it is Control-J. And when I go ahead and press that keyboard shortcut, you will notice that once again in the Layers panel, I have a new layer on top of my background layer. And if I hide the visibility of the background layer, you'll notice that the triangle is now on its own layer by itself. Well, there you have it. How to create a layer from a selection. And until next time, this is Simply Apple.